Hi there, and welcome to Fusion Pilates Podcast. My name is Casey Hurt, and this is my friend Kim. And we're going to be showing you a really simple modification with a, a prop to help your mat clients uh, feel where they're working in their body and feel where they're not. Now, I want Kim here to just go into some really easy knee folds. One leg at a time comes up into tabletop and then go ahead and place the legs back down. So this is a very common warm-up exercise for mat work. Now, because of the nature of the mat, because it's constant and it's flat, a lot of times we can lean into one side of the pelvis or body and the other, and you can see this nice little rocking back and forth that's happening. That is Kim switching her weight from right to left. And this is a challenging exercise if you really do it right. Go ahead and rest for a moment. So we wanna give our clients a little bit of extra feedback. And you know, as a teacher, you know, you can't be with each and every client individually, especially in a mat class. So we're gonna use these little guys. Now, this stuff, these things are like a hot commodity at our uh, studio. They're little squishy green spiky balls. We use them for a pressure point release, but today they're gonna uh, give her a little bit of signaling of where her pelvis is in space. So Kim, I'm gonna give you these. You're gonna put one underneath each tush cheek right in the middle, and you're gonna rest your pelvis onto them. So she went, lifted them up, put them underneath her tush. So this does a couple of different things that I really like. First of all, because they're spiky and, um, and a lot of people are tush grippers, this immediately gets them to settle into their pelvis. Yeah, and sometimes you have to move them around to get them to feel even. Now, this is also really nice for people with um, that get uncomfortable actually having their sacrum and pelvis on the mat. This takes the pressure off of the back of the sacrum and the SI joints. And so this is a nice uh, a little prop to give them so that they can feel more comfortable being on their back doing supine work. Now, Kim, I want you to keep equal weight into each of those green spiky balls. And I want you on an exhale to bring your right leg into tabletop, but not letting this left side, aha, uh -huh, lift up and off of the ball. That's really good. And then placing it back down. And let's do the opposite side. Find, oh yeah, slurp this leg into the pelvis. That's even better. And down. Now, Kim, I'm gonna give you an, an additional uh, cue here. Can you let the back of your solar plexus melt? And you know what? Let's take the hands into a hand hold. Take an inhale, exhale, drag the sternum down. Yes, and feel the back ribs splaying and opening into the mat. Very good. Now, let's try this again without losing the back of your solar plexus and without losing this tush on the green spiky ball. Can you exhale? Yes, the leg up into tabletop. Inhale, hold it here. Slurp the stable leg into the ball. Ooh, better. Keep the back of the solar plexus. The leg's gonna float down on the exhale. Feel the side of your body resting. Very nice. Let's do the other side. Inhale. Slurp the right leg into that green spiky ball. Yes, softening the sternum. Really nice. Inhale here. Exhale again. Pour the back of the solar plexus down and in as the leg shifts into the ball. And rest. This is really nice to do so that your clients have an exact placement of where you're cueing from. This is so effective to really feel because you can feel where you're at in space because trust me, you're not gonna wanna lean on one of these more than the other uh, in, the, in the glutes there. But then also, when you're cueing a big class, you wanna be able to give personalized uh, cueing and direction. So you can kind of eagle eye it from the corner, like, hey Kim, you know, get your right hip into that green spiky ball more. It's a really nice way to do it. And with these green spiky balls, they can do this at home when they don't have someone watching them to find that balance, find that evenness in the pelvis, but still get a little bit of good work in from the Pilates studio. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a good one.